<clears throat> hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. To all of my amazing boss buddies, happy, happy Saturday, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day, guys. I'm having a great day. As you can see by the smile on my face, guys, and by the look behind me, Boss Lady Fee is blessed today, y'all. wanted to take a quick moment to do a video. Now, y'all, this video is going to probably be about three, four different parts, okay? Going to be about three, four different parts. And why? Because the blessing is just that huge. You don't want to click off this video. The blessing is just that huge. Okay. Listen, guys. I can't make this stuff up. I cannot. I wish I could, but I cannot make this stuff up, baby. I cannot make up the way God blesses me. And not just me, but how he blesses his people. But I'm talking about me. Okay. This is about boss lady fee. All right. You can talk about you on your channel or on your social media page. But over here, I'm talking about boss lady fee, y'all. Listen, what God has for you is what for you. I just need somebody to put that in the comments before I even get to talking, before I even get to telling you. I need somebody to put what God has for me is for me. All right. Now, let me tell y'all, got to make it quick anyway, because I'm on my way to pick my daughter up to drop her off for work, okay? And it's getting a little dark anyway. But as you can see behind me, y'all, okay? And this is after taking some stuff in the house, okay? So, my truck was packed to the front, all the way to the back, and I got a two-row seat truck, okay? Well, three rows with this row. One, two, three. Three, three, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Got two rows back there. So with my seats flipped down from here all the way back, y'all, I couldn't even see out the window. I had to pray all the way back home. And God was like, look, this is a blessing that I gave to you. So I'm going to make a way for you to get back home safely. Okay, this was a blessing. It's not going to turn into a curse. Because when I tell y'all I could not see absolutely nothing, it was packed all the way to the top up here. My front seat was packed. I couldn't even see if a car was coming over here. I could barely see my mirror over here, y'all. When I tell y'all that God has blown my mind. Now, I cannot give details, details. I asked if I could, but bless it be to my boss buddy. She said to just say that I was blessed. So, I'm going to just say I was blessed. Now, y'all know Boss Lady Fee, right? I like to give y'all numbers, but I can't give it to you because I got to obey the woman of God, which told me not to do that. But just say this. What I told you I was in my car this time, this is my second trip, okay? My truck was almost just as packed, not as packed because I had Tierra and I had Gavin with me the last time. But all the way on that side and all the way in the middle, my truck was packed the first time I went. The second time, I didn't take anybody with me. I went by myself, and my truck was packed. I had to take some stuff out. I had to take the stuff out the front seat so that my daughter could actually um get in the car and get a, a seat to sit down. But y'all, I was blessed with so much stuff. Now, I'm not talking about no junk and nothing that need to be side the curb, okay? I'm talking about brand new stuff. Burlington sets, Walgreens bathrobes, um, Bath and Body Works, bo whole box of Bath and Body Works, Dove products, um, men's slippers, sleepover, um, weekenders, whatever you call them bags, baby, weekenders, sleepovers, go to your grandmama house bags, those, y'all, plush animals. Ribbon. I can't name it. Let me just tell you whatever baskets, whatever it takes to make baskets. Y'all, I was blessed with so much stuff. Y'all already know that I just barely got somewhere to sleep at in here, right? That's why I know I have got to do something really quick. This is my first time not having a brick and mortar business, okay? I have a church, but I do not have a brick and mortar for my business for the first time in my entire life, okay? The first time. 
since I've been an entrepreneur, and y'all know this has been my entire life, okay? Since I was 18, my first time not having a brick and mortar business, I have got to do something immediately, okay? I just bought, well, me and my husband, before he passed, we purchased the church that we have for cash money. I've told it story many, many times, but I have new boss buddies, so they need to know as well. Um, so when we purchased that building with cash, all praise be unto the most high God, after being on Section 8, food stamps, public housing, all that good stuff, all my life. We'll talk about that another time, y'all. But um, when we bought the building, I let all of, I had let all of that other stuff go because it was too much overhead and it was just too much. And I was like, okay, the building we had before that, I had space. Our church we had before, I was able to run three different businesses because the building was so huge that we were actually renting. Um, but when we bought our building, it's really, really big, but it didn't have all of the extra rooms. It was built, I don't know, maybe back in the 80s. Um, and they didn't have, they didn't have, it's like three extra rooms for offices, but they don't have a lot of space, like uh, storage space, closet space, stuff like that. So I could not run my business out of that. Anyway, I don't care about none of that, okay? Forget all that, scratch all that, take it out your mind. What I want y'all to know is that I have almost, I know it's over 20 something. So it's right at 30 boxes, containers. I, I'll just say this, okay? I'm, I'm gonna be obedient to not calling out the price because she told me to and I honor her for that. But I will tell y'all, what I paid for this stuff, I probably got about that amount in just plastic storage bins, okay? The cost of those big storage bins, um, yeah, that's about all I paid for was the storage bins. And I'm going to just leave it at that. And y'all figure it out. Y'all can just kind of, you know, let your mind wonder just how big God is because God is big. He is amazing. And he did this just for me. And I thank him for it. First, I want to give a shout out to Elaine of LBE. That's my girl. Yes, that is my girl. I love all my boss buddies. I love all of my, um, well, Elaine has her own channel, but I love all of my boss buddies. I love all my basket sisters. I love y'all. And, um, Elaine had texted me. She was like, um, no, she tagged me. Did you tag, text me or tag me? She tagged me um, in a post of somebody that was moving out of state. And she knew that me and the lady lived in the same state. So when I get ready to message the lady on Facebook to find out, you know, how can I come and see the stuff? I find out that the lady has already messaged me a month or so back trying to get in contact with me. Found out she's been following me for a, a about say, a month and a half. <laughs> She's been following me for a year and a half. And she says that I am the reason why she started her business. I'm not going to get emotional, y'all, because I, I cried. She cried at her house today. I'm not going to get emotional on this video. I'm going to try not to anyway. But, honey, she said it was because of me that she started this business. So, I 